The guy can sing forever. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Words cannot express just how excited I am for this video. I can't even believe I'm making a definitive statement like this, but I'm gonna say it. Andrea Bocelli is my favorite singer of all time. We'll find out why exactly he's my favorite singer later on in the video, but for now, get your popcorn ready, get a tasty drink, get a comfy chair, buckle your seatbelt. You're in for a good one today. This is Andrea Bocelli singing Can't Help Falling in Love live. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help falling in love with you I'm trying to figure out and process the best words that I can use in this moment, but it's such an incredible tone. I cannot believe it. I was probably 10 years old or so when I started listening to Bocelli and every single time I hear his voice, something happens. Not only is it beautiful, the technique is absolutely stellar, but there's a nostalgic feeling for me. It just brings back happy memories. There's no extra clutter or rasp or anything in this voice. It's pure silk. It's like liquid gold. The audience is absolutely pumped. Only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. As we do on this channel, we figure out exactly why we like a certain performer or performance. And somehow I've never actually thought about why I like Andrea Bocelli, I just do. And somehow this live performance with something like 110 million views has escaped my watchful eye. So I'm really excited to figure out what's going on here. Yes, we can acknowledge that his tone, the vocal timbre and all the colors of his voice are absolutely stellar, but there are other things that he's doing to make it even better. Because he's Italian, he has really long vowels. And in my teaching for all of my students, one of the first things I say is that we need long vowels. So it's not wise men say, it's wise men say. This is something if you want to improve your singing, you should be doing too. Wise a, a, A. They're super long. Consonants aren't really that important. We hear them, it helps us form the words, but we want to hear your singing voice, especially with Andrea Bocelli. We want to hear those long vowels, and that's what he does. Only fools rush in, but I can't help. Falling in love with you. Falling in love. That was super legato. Legato is the Italian term for smooth singing. And one way I like to think about it is that when you start this process of singing, we don't want to start it and then stop it and start it and stop it over and over again because that's really hard on the voice and it just doesn't sound good. Once you start singing, keep that going. Falling in love instead of falling in love. That's choppy. We don't want that. There's just so many things that are going well here. And I, I think we could talk for hours and hours about the intricacies of his vocal technique and just why he's so good. But let's talk a little more specific right now. He's not doing very much work in his face and in his mouth. Even if you listen to his really intense opera and oratorio music that he has online, he does very, very little in the mouth. He always sings with an astounding level of relaxation in the muscles. Like he's singing sometimes, you know, high C's, high C sharps, incredibly high, but yet 
we see nothing happening in here. And we can all strive to be that relaxed when we sing. But of course, that doesn't mean he's not putting in the work. It's happening all down below with his support system. So his ribs, his lungs, his diaphragm, his lower abdominals, all of them are working to get this beautiful supported sound. And he doesn't have to do anything up here. Again, let's go back a few seconds and I want you to pay close attention to what's happening in his mouth, his cheeks, his jaw, his throat, vocal tract. There's not a lot happening, yet we hear all of the words and the tone is really beautiful. If I can help all in love with you Like a river flows surely to the sea Darling, so it goes Some things are meant to be This section, which for many is the most difficult part of the piece, he really just floats up there. Like a river flow, da da dee da da. I give this song to my students when they first start working with me. I think it's a great introductory song. If you've never taken singing lessons before, this is a fantastic place to start. What I'm going to do from now on is I'm going to send them this video because so many of the things that I talk about, legato singing, singing with support, relaxing the vocal tract in the face, Andrea Bocelli is doing to a masterful degree. I'll link some of my favorite Andrea Bocelli videos in the description below so you can spend the rest of the day listening to incredible music. Like a river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. I just noticed something. He has his hand on the piano, and I think it's important for you to know, if you don't already, that Andrea Bocelli is blind. He has been blind since he was young. While he may be using the piano for stability, I think he's using it for an entirely different reason. And it's actually to help him with his support. And this is something my teacher actually introduced to me. She told me that if I'm going to put my hand on the piano when I sing, it should be for a purpose. So what I would do, if I needed to, I would put my hand on the piano and I would push down ever so slightly, which triggers some abdominal engagement. When we involve the abdominals in our singing, we sound so much better. In ways you can do it at home, if you have a towel or something and you just pull it in front of you like that, or if you have a TheraBand or something that you can hold in front, maybe even if it's just your hands, you can put your hands up front like this and squeeze them together, it engages your core. Try singing that way and see how it goes. In my experience as a singer and as a teacher, your voice is going to skyrocket in a good way. And again, we have more shots of audience members trying to be genuine. I would much rather just watch Andrea sing the whole time, but I have no control. Listen to how he sings, for I can't help, and how seamlessly he moves from sort of his lower mid-range into his mid-range. One thing that he does really well is he sounds the same throughout his whole range. It doesn't matter if he's singing really high or if he's singing really low, which he has an incredible range. It sounds like the same voice, and that takes practice. For I And of course, how could we forget that Andrea Bocelli has legendary, and I'm talking legendary, breath control. The guy can sing forever. If you listen to the prayer, Andrea Bocelli, Celine Dion, I'll link it in the description below. 
He sings the final note, which is insanely high, for like a full minute, it seems. It's the longest note ever. It never loses its quality. It never loses its tuning. He's got incredible tuning. And I just, I don't know how he does it. We're gonna listen to this long note again, but listen to how the pitch never dips. It never changes, it never wavers. He doesn't sound like he's running out of breath. He just keeps singing. That is breath control. Something are meant to be. And another thing we need to add to this list of things to talk about is how versatile his voice is. He can sing opera, he can sing oratorio, he can sing Spanish love songs or you know French love songs. It doesn't matter what, and this is, I mean, this is Elvis. It doesn't matter. He makes it his own. He pays tribute to the original. He doesn't change it completely but it's just this beautiful rendition. So here he's doing some, you know, little, not quite riffs, but he's, he's adding little grace notes and, and changing it up. It's so nice to listen to. I just, ugh, gives me gives me goosebumps. One thing you will notice across the board, any performance you watch of his, he's always got good posture. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is, his posture is always there for him. This allows him to breathe properly, get proper breath support, and sound better. I'm sorry, but that man did not know the words. Watch that man. <laughs> they should not have panned to him because he does not know the words. It's like that famous Oprah clip when she's trying to sing to Mariah Carey and she has no idea what the words are. A gorgeous high note, a beautiful change in a song that we all know well. We know it doesn't end like that, but why not? The audience appreciates it, I appreciate it, hopefully you appreciate it too, because he is one of the best voices on the planet. That's it for today's video, my friends. I'll save you watching the long applause that he gets. I'll link the original video in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, check out my Patreon, link in my bio, only $4 a month. It's pretty sweet. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Child.